Greetings, everyone. Time for another episode of Out of the Wilderness with Keith and Perry. And as usual, we have Keith sitting over here, and I'm Perry. Welcome. It's always uh, a pleasure to uh, come into your homes, take a few minutes, and visit with you. Hopefully, we can cheer you up a little, uh, let you know that we're on your side. We live in a very deceptive world. Uh, most of the things we see going on around us really aren't what they appear to be, to be or seem to be. Correct. And a lot of it is what we hope what we hope to be. So, yeah, um, the devil's really good at deception. He's been doing it for millennia. Oh, since the garden. Mm -hmm. Deceived Eve, making her think that she could be God. Equal. Equal. Yeah. yeah. By having knowledge of good and evil. Good, yeah. And what did it do? Got her kicked out. Got her kicked out. Where are we at today? We're kicked, kicked out. out. <laughs> yeah. Trying to but fortunately, our way back. Christ came and atoned for our sins to give us a way back in. A absolutely. But that doesn't yeah. mean the deception ends. Oh, absolutely not. It, uh, oftentimes it makes the deception even worse. worse stronger because it, it, uh, we have... Well, uh, we've become a threat. Well, we have, yes. And, and, and we, we have ammunition and and so and we have tools. Get it, tools and if he can get us to put the tools away, set them down and, and not bother to use them, say, ah, well, I don't need that today. I don't need to do that, this little thing, that little thing. Um, you know, then we're, we're, we're caught in a trap. Right. You know, and uh, like we were, uh, what we've been talking about in the I did a, I did a sermon on that, don't get caught in the devil's trap. Trap, mm -hmm. But uh, it's amazing what can be a deception. Uh, there's always some kind of good in a deceptive statement. In other words, there's always like, if you want to quote some Bible verses, you can always throw a good uh, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world in there somewhere. And then when you get to the bottom, it's telling you that you don't really need God. Right. He loved you, but, but, you know, uh, and we get sucked into that, and especially the saints in the Western world. We were ch ch chatting about this earlier, too. Um, we have, uh, Keith and I have some friends that live in uh, Pakistan, family of friends and uh, abilities that we uh, are madly in love with with these kids and we have a couple of friends that live in Nicaragua or excuse me uh, Nigeria. Nigeria I always call it Nicaragua but it's Nigeria now these are young people they're like 28 years old mm -hmm. going on 29 years old their faith their beliefs their actions their behaviors are so different than ours we claim to be Christians how many people, how many of us uh, actually pick, walk the walk? Walk the walk, or even a how many of us pick up the Bible and knock the dust off of it because we actually open it up to read it mm -hmm. on a regular basis? These these kids are going to meetings at six o'clock a.m. in the mornings and then go to a to a job in the afternoon uh, because they help support their their families and right. and and what have you. And they walk, they walk, they walk. I mean, you can tell they're different than the rest of the rest of the ones that are around. And here, uh, man, that, that doesn't seem to be quite so. No. You know, we still have the... Too many distractions, too much technology, too much garbage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we think it's okay, uh, this, this idea that oh, we can get saved, that's great. But we can still live in the ghetto if we want. We can still sneak a little porn on the side. We can still go down to the... Uh, the hoochie gooch and, and rub belly buttons with some cutie, uh, you know, and and all and of those to get things. Drunk. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to get drunk once in a while. You know, Jesus, we use it. Jesus had a little wine. Never said he got drunk. Well, and it says in the scriptures yeah. to have a little wine for your stomach. Stomach, but that's medicine. That's not going out and getting drunk. Jesus exactly. didn't go get wasted and have a hangover well, the next like day. Like Paul said, I can do all things. Some are just not I can do all them. things, but are they beneficial? Yep. Some are just not profitable. Yeah, or beneficial. Yeah. So, yeah. Good. And, um, you know, does God turn, take all things and turn them for good for us, for our benefit? Yes. He does. But, but in he his prefer timing, we wouldn't get to that point. True. And he, But he does it in his timing. Yeah. 
under his plan, right. and not our plan. Right. Yeah, see, we want to, we want to, uh, we want. We want what we want, we want it now. Now, yeah, what we want, we want it now, we want, yeah. It's a, it's a marching, it's a protest sign, mm -hmm. you know. And when you start protesting God, our creator, yeah, God, you're in trouble. Uh, we're stupid, yeah. we become poor. Uh, I mean, that, look, again, our whole system is run that way. Division, deception. the enemy, deception, and division, they go hand in hand. Well, you take in this country, for instance, the whole left versus the right, okay? The left and the right agree on more than they disagree, truly. Mm -hmm. But, and, and the whole left side, right side is a paradigm that's built into the deception. Our true enemy is government and media. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because without someone, a boogeyman to campaign against, i.e. the other side, there's no money in it. There's no money. There's no yep. money. Control's gone. Control's gone. Yep, yep. control's gone. That's, and, and there you have, I'm sure you all heard the big lie statement. There inherently lies the big lie. Mm -hmm. It's not that the, the election was stolen or this or that. It's that the deception of the left-right paradigm. All right? Sure, there's a lot of people on the left that don't believe in God, that don't want anything to do with God. And that's fine. That's their own but choice. That's true on the right as that's well. That's true on the right as well. I know. I know conservative atheists, mm -hmm. and conservative atheists is very rare, very but rare. But it's there. But it's there. Yeah. 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 But that's where the that's the kind of deceptions that we're talking about. Um, you know, the the devil is wily ways. He gets into every aspect, and he deceives. He kills, steals, and destroys. Yeah. That's all he's been doing, and it's all he's going to do for the rest of eternity. And he causes, he knows his time is short, according to Scripture, and so uh, the deception and the control and the division uh, is has been worse. and is being cranked up to its fullest to eleven, and it will get worse, yeah. guaranteed, because God said it's going to get worse. Yeah. Uh, I think we think this or feel that these are just. Shots over the bow to get us uh, as a people uh, to wake up, so we don't end up like the uh, Old Testament the Israel, or the, um, or the Israelis, the Israelites who wandered in a desert for forty years and because they were they what grumbled. thirty miles from thirty miles or fifty miles, something like that. Yeah, away from away from the Promised Land or where they were supposed to go. Yeah, but they I just mean, kept they wandering just kept in circles. Wandering in circles. And, and that's again a paradigm of today. We just got one foot nailed to the ground, and we're just going round and round and round and playing the blame game. Right. Well, and if you're not saved, you got one foot in the grave and the other on a banana peel. Mm hmm. It's not solid ground. No, no, no. And there's only two directions when you die either you go up, up or, or down. You go down. Yeah. However, you want to perceive up is heaven. Uh, yeah. Uh, and and let's, let's not earth. do the old uh, uh, adage where, you know, if I go down, then I'm going to be too busy partying with my friends. No, it ain't a party. Well, I don't think you're going to be. You'll be busy. You'll be but busy, but it ain't going to be a party. No. 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 So. A giant hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> Fire and brimstone. Yeah. Not me. I'm allergic to that kind of hot water. Absolutely. Yeah, I want no part of it. Goodness. It's, uh, but deception, oh, and all these things. It, it ruins everything around us. It ruins our personal relationships with children, yes. our relationships with wives, husbands, mothers, fathers, uh, you know, the grandkids, those of you have grandkids. Mm -hmm. uh, we, you know, uh, we wonder why they went wrong and the young ones are out where we went wrong. wrong. Drugs and all that stuff. The good yeah. question: Where did we go wrong? Well, maybe we didn't raise them in a godly family. Yeah. Uh, I was guilty of some of that yeah. uh, when I was raising, helping raise some some youngsters. Me way too. Back when uh, we we looked like we were a godly house. Until but looks can be deceiving. Yeah, that's right. Until the door was shut. Mm -hmm. You know, shut the front door and close the patio door was a different, completely different. Completely different thing. Yeah, I, I don't care. I don't care who you are. I don't care where you live. I don't care what you believe. But everybody has secrets and deceptions in their life. Oh, everybody. I, 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 absolutely. Yeah, we do. And 
hopefully we, we can work those out between us and uh, Christ so that they don't eat us up, so they don't uh, kill us, mm -hmm. destroy us. It really isn't just that easy to go, oh, I got saved, I accepted Christ as my personal Savior, everything's going to be all right. The next morning you're still the drunk you were the night before, you're still hungover, you're still this, you're still, you're still all of those things because right. it takes more than 10 minutes to it clean takes work. you up. It takes it work. It takes work. Yeah. Anything that's worth anything is not easy. It takes no, work. It takes and work. that's it's just something you got to live with. Yeah. If you can't live with it, you know, I don't know what to tell you, but mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be work to get right with God. It's going to take and work. And to stay right. And to stay right. Yeah, that, that's that's the hard right. thing. Yeah. For me, staying on the path, I can't say anymore that, oh, gee, Lord, I didn't know that. I sometimes wish I didn't know what I know. Ignorance uh, is bliss. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, and so I'm going to be held accountable for things that you may never be held accountable before because you didn't really know. Right. I know better. And I still have trouble walking. I want to walk over there and peek over that edge and just take a peek. You know, yeah. and or just give up. Give up. And just walk away. Walk away. But who does that hurt? Everybody around us. And you. Us. That's right. Everybody around us. And you. Mm -hmm. And me. So, yeah, and uh, and and a lot of times, you know, deception will sneak into your into your ears. Somebody will say something, and the the enemy will whisper into your ear something else. Well, and I, yeah, you need mm -hmm. to know to tell the difference. Yeah, that's why we need to ask for uh, wisdom all the time to mm -hmm. know the difference. Yep. It's like you line up ten people, put them in a chair, and you say, uh, "That mug over there is blue." in the first person's ear right. and then they repeat that to the next one by the time you get down there all of a sudden there's no blue bug at all no, it was some kind of a six-legged uh, monster, monster yeah. and he was green yeah you know that's how that the, the size of a building thing, yeah, yeah yeah and that's how that works and Tell as long as the enemy on down the line yeah. well and that i mean you don't even need to go through four or five people just the, the enemy will whisper into your, your ear, ear when you hear something yeah. i've seen that turn it into something that it's not. That it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. a tiny, again, just a tiny bit of truth. And, and the whisper and the rest of it's all a bunch of BS. And right. We hear the BS. And the, the, the tiny, tiny truth, truth is completely irrelevant to what the conversation yeah. is about. Mm -hmm. Does it matter? Does the tiny truth matter at that moment? No. no. But, but it caught your attention. It caught your attention. So that you would listen to the rest of the rest of the lie. That's exactly right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's exactly right. Because, well, we're creatures of truth. We want truth, but, and we get sucked into things that we think are the truth, but they're really not. Yeah. So. so. We want truth the way we want truth. When truth hurts, then we don't want truth. That is true. You know, we don't, Most we people don't, don't uh, want we, truth that hurts. Uh, no. when, uh, that's when, again, we discuss these things. Uh, we hear people uh, speak from a pulpit. We've had the opportunity and have that opportunity every now and then to speak from a from a pulpit. And uh, when you tell the people facts, open up the book and it says, I don't say thus saith the Lord, but the Bible says thus saith the Lord. They want to throw rocks at you, get up and go home and not come back next week. Because right. you offended them because they didn't really want to hear the, the truth. truth. Uh, because the truth says they it. wanted their ears tickled. Tickled, yeah. And so again, they wanted that they, they we want God to do what we want when we want where we want and how we want, and right. it doesn't happen that way. Uh, yep. The deception is still there. Though. Well, you don't need God to do that. You can figure that out on your own. <clears throat> How's that working for you? Yeah. <laughs> How is yeah. figuring life out on your own working out? Yeah, it works. It's not. No. It's, uh, uh, and, and the marriages go through that. People uh, uh, on their jobs with, with uh, managers and bosses that are just tyrants that are just uh, amazingly hard to get along with. Or just real and, petty. Or petty. And yet we're instructed to love them like he loved them. He loved me. Oh, 
ouch. <laughs> I mean, uh, and that's just a tiny one. Yeah. You know, uh, man, uh, not, no details, but uh, man, uh, the, the male is uh, in charge of his home because of how creation happened. He was made of the dirt in God's image, and then wife was taken out of him, Adam. And all of a sudden, we're supposed to protect that wife like Christ protects us because that's the way the pecking order goes. Yep. And we're screwed. How in the world do we do that? I mean, how do we know when we're right or when we're wrong? Do we just stand back and let them, you know, and I'm not talking about specifically let somebody just go crazy, uh, but where do we draw the line of being no or well, okay, and gingerly try to really get somebody to come around and or the the other way where you're just the chump and the chump of the family and the other party is how do you because if God can keep the family apart excuse me if the devil Satan can, can keep yeah. the family apart uh, there's half that battles won right there yeah no I mean that's the, yeah, Satan yeah. Satan's done a pretty good job in the United States of destroying the nuclear family Oh, ab absolutely. A really good job. Yeah. I mean, uh, he's winning round after round, round after yeah. round. And what's really sad is we know he hasn't, we know he loses the war. But because of people believing the lies, because of people um, falling for deceptions, he's winning. Um, he's winning the battles. He's winning the, the battles all, all, all over. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, it's going to get worse. That, that's the sad. That's the other big. That's sad one part. thing that it's going to get worse. One thing that people don't understand. If you don't understand, read Revelations. <laughs> yeah, this is just a it's tiny a wake up call. Taste of what's coming down the road. Oh yeah, COVID nineteen shot across the bow. Yeah, that's just a warning of what's to come. Yeah. When it talks about the. Uh, um, the, the, the pestilence and the famines in the Bible, it makes what we're going through right now yeah. a cakewalk. Wipes out millions. Millions will die. So, so we pray uh, that we pray that we're all taken up before that happens. Yeah. Uh, uh, absolutely. So we're getting pretty high up there though, so we should probably end this. Why don't you close one, with prayer today? Okay, one quick thing too, because we uh, were in services and what have you for Easter. Uh, we didn't get a chance to do quote an Easter video, so uh, we were honored to uh, celebrate the uh, resurrection of our Lord and Savior, and happy Easter and happy resurrection to all of you from that. us to from us to you. Yep. So, Father, we come to you in the name of uh, your Son Jesus to give thanks uh, for the opportunity to serve you and uh, share with our friends and families and neighbors who uh, allow us in, into your home. But <clears throat> personally ask that you touch and bless each one of these individuals, people, anybody that picks us up on, on just the YouTube channel, we pray for you just as well. You're important to us. Um, your families, your marriages, your children, the grandchildren, they're all important to keep in life. And so just ask, Lord, that you, you bless them and prosper them and lead them in uh, a life that is uh, very close and personal between you and them. Ask that you be with Keith and Kirsten, uh, our old church family, uh, that uh, we can learn to do a little better job uh, with one another and loving each other. Because the longer we go into the end, it gets harder to do. So I ask that you do these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And like always, we'll see, see you in church. church.